Students today are creating a diverse range of projects that demonstrate their knowledge, but they're still being assessed and tested in the old ways. We really needed an alternative, and ePortfolios have provided a comprehensive, evidence-based way to assess their learning. And the ePortfolio is a more holistic type assessment for students. It really gets them to understand that we're not just looking at their test scores, we're not just looking at their, their writing ability on one paper, we're looking at change over time and growth over time, and that's really what we're aiming for in this program. It was really great to have this medium to visually represent my body of work. I really am expressive, I like utilizing that creative outlet, so I thought that using this website, this ePortfolio, it provided me with a canvas to really kind of paint my story. I think one of the nice things about eFolio is that it's not stagnant. It's always growing and always progressing along with whatever you're doing. And it can always be changed and modified to fit what it is you're looking for in your life. I think that eFolio would be valuable to students and um, just like it helped me build a confidence um, it would also help other students build a competence as well. It allows them to see their own growth and I've had students comment, wow, I, my paper when I wrote it in the very first course was terrible and now I see that I've changed, I see that I'm improving, I see that my, my level of skill is going up and I think that for students is, is a really powerful indicator of, of authentic learning. I knew I wanted to be a part of public health but I did not know exactly what I wanted to do. So it helped me think and really organize my thoughts. This is who I want to be, this is what I want to do, and it just really helped me just decide what I wanted to do in the future. Students are taking courses all over the university, not just environmental studies, but geography, social science, biology, chemistry, and the eFolio is a way for them to bring that information together in one piece and sort of then reflect on it and say, what are the linkages here? The eFolio really forces them, in a way, to kind of do that reflection. But uh, we find that it, for a lot of our students, they find it extremely helpful and uh, it helps them think about the value of their education, the value of an interdisciplinary education, and then how they will actually graduate with a whole bunch of skills that they can then apply to whatever career that they chose. We have them build their professional philosophy page. By the end, I think that's one of the strongest pieces of the student's e-portfolio is how, who they want to be professionally. So that's been, that's been a really great outcome. So for me, creating an, um, an e-portfolio was like taking the next step to becoming a professional because um, it helped me link what I had learned with where I was going with what I had learned. The online identity, we try to teach students the difference between an identity that they would have for social networks as opposed to an educational or professional presence online where it features their work and their experiences in their electronic portfolio. I didn't really know what I wanted to do but now as a senior I've done so many things and I just feel ready and the eFolio just really helped me express myself in a professional way. The first thing that we notice when we transition from a paper-based portfolio to the electronic portfolio is how shareable it was. I sent a link for my e-folio along with my resume and I encouraged them to look at it. And they responded very positively and they said they were really impressed, that it was very cutting edge, that I was the only person that had ever applied to their program with an e-folio. And I got a job. <laughs>